Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Long and we are beginning the Unit 1 uh, study of Raising in a Sun. This video is just to walk you through the first session of that so you kind of know what the context is and what the assignments are. And if there's any questions, then you can get in touch with me about those later. So when you click on your materials, you'll get to the Unit 1 Overview. And in this tab, you'll see a video that shows you, it's another video, where I've walked you through what the whole unit is about, what the essential learnings are, the goals for the unit, uh, a little bit about the context of the play, uh, who the characters are, where it takes place, who wrote it and why, and then a little bit about the assignments that are going to help you to achieve those learning goals. Um, from there, you'll click to the Unit 1 Session 1 Overview, which shows you the specific learning activities for this session, which is one week, and the assignments that are due and how many points they're worth, and then a suggested schedule that you can use. There's uh, quite a bit more this week than the introductory week. The introductory week was lighter because, you know, I think teachers are aware that you're trying to get adjusted to Schoology and all the technology problems and people are getting registered. But we're really digging into the material this week and I think that you will enjoy this unit. But I do suggest using this suggested schedule to kind of pace yourself through the week. This is not a session that you can complete all in one day right before, um, particularly because of the discussion boards. But there's, there's quite a bit here, so do, do space it out over the week. Um, so after you look at the session overview, you see the connection to the previous introductory week. And we talked about our dreams a lot in the introduction. And most of you have just spectacular dreams of many, some of them many down, down to earth and some of them wildly creative. And I loved all of that. Um, but sometimes in life, our dreams don't happen the way we want them to. There are roadblocks, things happen. We're not able to achieve them. And we call that the dream deferred. And that is a connection to a poem by Langston Hughes called Harlem, Dream Deferred. He's a black poet who is writing about many of the issues that were facing blacks in the middle of the 20th century. And his line, does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? What happens to this dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? Is the line from which the playwright Lorraine Hansberry took the title for her play. So you'll have to read that and enjoy this connection and then start diving into A Raisin in the Sun. One of the big ideas, themes in A Raisin in the Sun is the status of the American dream. Uh, you may be familiar from your history class with Horatio Alger, a writer who wrote rags to riches stories about people who pulled themselves up by their bootstraps, started with absolutely nothing and they made a fortune in America by working hard and pursuing this dream. That is the idea that has been persistent in our culture. Anyone who works hard can achieve a good quality of life. So we're going to look at that. Um, what do people mean by it? If you ask people, what is the American dream? What do they say? Um, you look at what candidates have to say. This is quite interesting, actually. Uh, someone took the nomination acceptance speeches for the two presidential contenders in, in 2012, took their speeches, plugged them into Wordle just to see what words would come up. I mean, they, they took the words that were there in the speeches and they plugged them in and created a wordle out of those. And you, the, the words are a little bit different. So think about that in defining the American dream. Then you'll be looking at a whole slew of videos where, so there, where there are success stories. People who have actually worked hard and achieved wealth or comfort in America. And there are people that say that it is in fact getting harder. Um, there's perspective, the vlog brothers, you may be familiar with John Green from his vlogs or from his books. Um, BBC is a British news corporation, Bill Moyers and PBS are American newscasters. And then there are some texts that you may want to read as well. So want, you'll want to spend a good amount of time familiarizing yourself with these materials about what the American dream is. Take notes on it because in the next section you're going to be sharing with your classmates in a discussion board what you think the American dream is and what the status is. Is it still possible for anyone to succeed and achieve a modicum of prosperity? And you'll need evidence from that, so do take some time with the videos. And then uh, as you have this discussion, you'll be responding to two or three other people. Remember that that is part of our the rubric, part of how you get graded for the discussion board. You need to be timely, spacing your posts out throughout the week, and you need to respond to other people with some considerable 
response, not just I agree or I disagree. Um, so you'll look at that. That'll be your first assignment for the week. Then you're going to be diving into the play. You get right into A Raisin in the Sun. You can get a hard copy if you want, but you don't have to. There's an online copy that you can use through Google Docs. Um, there is an audio recording that you can use to read alongside it. Uh, and I recommend this if you're a struggling reader or if you have a health concern that keeps you from sitting at a desktop for a long time. I um, encourage you to use them together, not just to listen to the audio. The audio enhances things by giving you some of those nonverbal pieces. The online copy, the text copy, gives you the stage directions. And that tells you a lot more about what's meant to be happening in the play. Um, but skip any introductions that are going to be spoilers. And as you read the play, and this will be true for Act 1, 2, and 3, this week we're just doing Act 1, you're going to keep track of 10 quotations, who says it and where it is, and what that uh, quotation is telling you about the, the, the main ideas, the big ideas, the meaning of the play. So you'll write those into this template here, and then you'll, you'll download it and then upload it again with your name on it, and your own particular quotes on it. And just encourage you to do this really, really well because as you write a theme ace essay in session four, you're going to be using those quotations. So do a good job on it. It'll help you later. And then you'll submit the quotations you have for this week. Obviously keep your own copy of them, but you'll submit those for your second assignment. Your third assignment is to look at conflict. Without conflict, there would not be stories, movies, novels, etc. It's the conflict that propels things forward. So you'll look at the different kinds of conflict, internal conflicts within a man, within a person, uh, man versus man, person versus person, that type thing, man versus self, person versus self, just to be politically correct here. So you'll look at those internal conflict, external conflicts, and think about what the conflicts are in A Raisin in the Sun. There are lots of them. Uh, so you'll create a one or two paragraph response from that, again using the PEA method. You can link to that from last session if you're still kind of learning that. I got some feedback that some of you found that to be new. So it'll take some practice. You'll get it. It's something that'll help you out in college later on as you're writing good quality writing. Um, but the prompt is, what is the biggest conflict or struggle in this, I should say, play? Um, why is this conflict so strong? Be sure to explain which characters are involved and why, how you think that conflict can be resolved. Um, if you'd like, you can use the Whopper paragraph template, which is basically taking several PEA paragraphs and smashing them together, a little bit like the Big Mac at McDonald's, and write yourself a really solid paragraph on those conflicts. And then you'll submit that for your final assignment in the unit, or in the session, excuse me. And if you're really into the idea of the American dream, I encourage you to pursue some extra credit or an extension by considering people that you know who may have achieved the American dream in spite of it all. Uh, I worked with some students when I taught ESL many years ago, students who were from Vietnam and their families moved here with nothing. And they were working at laundromats even though they'd had professional careers in Vietnam. Well, their children came not knowing any English and one of them in particular in this family that I worked with um, spoke, arrived with no English and today she's a medical doctor. She's on my Facebook page. And she would be an example of somebody who has achieved the American dream. So pick someone like that, or alternately you can pick someone famous, you know, the Carnegies or someone who has achieved the American dream in history. Tell that person's story in one paragraph, and then explain what factors were responsible for the person's success. Would it be that they took risks? Would it be uh, that they learned the language easily and early on? Would it be that they happened to be naturally beautiful? There's a little bit about Oprah Winfrey in one of the videos earlier. Or whether they just darn lucky to be where they were, the right place, right time kind of thing. Um, so that would be up to 20 points. Again, this is not required. This is an option if you're looking for something to extend what you're doing here. And that is it. You'll get to the end of our session. If you get done early, which you probably won't, but if you get done early, you're welcome to move on to Act 2 and continue taking the same notes, the 10 quotations for each act as you read. So that's it. Go ahead and get started on Unit 1, Session 1. Be in touch with any questions. I look forward to hearing some great comments and seeing some great writing. Have a good week.